So, the last couple days, Esmeralda here has had some funny tiny little lumps in her milk when I pour it through the filter. Um, so we're going to investigate and make sure that we're not dealing with mastitis. So the first thing is her udder does not feel super hot. There's no hot spots. It's not lumpy. Um, those would be some possible indications of mastitis. Um, so I have brought out uh, a couple of things to help with this. <laughs> One is my strip cup, which this is cow size. It's huge really for a dairy goat, but you can see it's got different size screen and uh, this section right in, let's see if you can see it. This little triangle section right there is screen and it's really tiny. Um, I have also brought out a mastitis test paper. There is a, another whole kit that has a liquid that you drop. It has a paddle that you squirt milk into from each teat. And then you have a liquid that you add in and swirl around. And if there's a color change or a, uh, a change in texture that indicates mastitis. So um, the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, we're going to squirt some milk. <laughs> no, don't put your foot in there. Good lordy girl from each teat onto the piper squares because if there's if the yellow squares change to blue that would indicate mastitis and I'm letting it run off into the strip cup so we can see if there's any um lumpies here and there's no color change all the squares are still yellow little dots are still yellow so that's a good indicator that we don't have mastitis and looking at the liquid milk in the strip cup i'm not seeing any lumpy bumpy bits so I think what happened is that because we are very cool in the evening now, I think that since Esmeralda has been milking almost a year and towards the end of, after they've been milking a good long time, they actually get more butter fat in their milk. And I'm thinking that that's what's happening is that there's so much butter fat and it's hitting the cold pail and then it's in a cold jar for a little bit before I get it strained that the, some of the butter fat is actually just sort of coagulating out of the milk. So I will be looking at it some more when I pour it through the filter tonight. The little lumps were very tiny. They did not have any structure to them, and as soon as I tried to pick them up, they just sort of melted away. So that's why I'm thinking it might just be butter fat and not an actual case of mastitis. So, um, I, I've never dealt with mastitis in my goats. I've never had that issue. If you don't know, mastitis is simply an infection in the mammary gland and pretty much any mammal including humans can get mastitis so it's a function of if bacteria got up inside the teat and up into the udder and usually what happens is after milking um, the girls op opening in their teat closes up and it usually closes up pretty tight so that no bacteria can get in there. And 
I'm not seeing any of the lumpy bumpies or anything like that in the jar there yet. So we'll just see what happens. Keep you updated. Okay, so I'm starting on Esmeralda's milk. It has been sitting just a tiny, for a while, just because I have other chores and things to do. Um, you can see, pouring from the jar that I poured in to at milking time, that there's a thick coating on the inside of the jar. And you can see that there are some they almost look like tiny bumps right there. But like, there's nothing to them. They're not a lump, they're not crystal, they're not, um, they're not like, have resistance or anything, not, not like, cheese curd or anything like that so I don't know <laughs> I think it's I really do think it's just butter fat because I mean you know there's nothing left on my finger there's no it's not crystallized it's it's like nothing gone